what's up youtube what's up guys what's popping welcome back to my channel is your favorite girl tessie here as always and today i'm back with another video for you you and you so guys if this is your first time stopping here you're definitely welcome you're on the right channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn your post notification bell so you get notified anytime a video is up on this channel and if you've been on this channel for a very long time and you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for please do well to subscribe like this video share and leave a positive comment in the comment section below so what's up guys today i'm back with another video as i said earlier but a twist on this video is is that i'm going to be doing a story time remember the last time i did the story time i, I told you guys that i was going to tell you how i met my mom i got a lot of stories to tell about my life i'm young but still i have i got a lot of story to tell so today the story we're going to be telling is how i finally got to see my mom the first day i saw my mom the first day i set my eyes on her yeah so as you all know if you haven't seen the video on how i told you guys you know i was living with my grandma before so if you didn't see that that video make sure to go watch it so you understand where i'm coming from okay guys so don't forget to tell me in the comment section that i'm looking up beautiful popping and all nice so guys before i get into the video if you want to see my new skin routine my skin routine please leave it in the comment section because for the past five months i've changed my routine my everything about my skin so if you want to see it because a lot of people have been telling me girl you are popping you're looking beautiful your skin looks flameless and stainless so if you want to see it i don't want to be stingy about it please tell me in the comment section and i will give it to you so back to today's video is about how i met my mama how i met my mom okay so let's start from the genesis i was living with my grandma then she died i lived with my auntie then i went to the boarding school so guys be expecting another story from me on how the first day like my first time in a boarding school how it was for me i'm going to tell you guys then another one how it is like living in a boarding school so it's two different video okay so i lived in a boarding school then later i started living with my auntie which consigns her in this video the story i'm going to be telling today so i I haven't seen my mom since I was born. Maybe when I was born, I was little, even not up to a year. So I didn't, I can't recognize anybody that I have seen at that age. So I haven't seen her. I started seeing my mom pictures and started talking to her the year 20, 2009. Okay, late 20, 2008. That was when I started talking to her on phone. So I started seeing her pictures seen her on video calls skype then it was skype there was nothing like whatsapp so it was on skype we started seeing all of that stuff and she started sending videos of her pictures on a cd send it down to nigeria and i'll get to see it on tv so all of that started happening maybe 2012 2010 all of that stuff so we talk frequently on phone always especially when i'm at home but when i'm in school she gets to call my my supervisors and matrons in school so the year i finally saw my mom was 2014 yes 22nd sorry 22nd 23rd yeah 
23rd of December 2014. That was the first time I saw my mom. So back to the planning, the preparation and everything. It was a surprise for me. But I'm going to tell you how I felt that day. I was having like suspicions and all of that. So in my house, in our house, we have... I have my room, my auntie has a room, my auntie children, they all have their rooms, but there is a separate room that we just, there's nothing inside, nobody's inside, we don't have visitors that we literally come and start like, okay, let's prepare for visitors, no, if a visitor come, if the person is my friend, the person is sleeping in my room, okay, so it's like that in the house, so that year sorry that year that december um we're all at home it's holiday period so my auntie which is my mom's sister she started preparing she started telling us if your things are in the room because sometimes we leave our extra clothes or luggages or shoes in that room so she was like if you know your things are here in this room come and take it she started sharing our things with us and what our child our daughter was asking our mom what's happening she was like you know this december this christmas period we might have visitors anybody might come to the house and they can sleep or stay in that room we're like ah okay no problem we all arranged the room we swept and cleaned up the room yeah the next thing my auntie did was for her to get to go get a carpet for the room or like literally i was shocked okay visitors okay no problem but my auntie daughter was like how will you go and get carpet for a room that you're expecting visitors that you don't even know if they are coming why me which is her don't even have a carpet in a room I was like, hey, calm down. Don't, don't, let's, let's just see how this thing will play out. You get. So, after getting the carpet, she got a bed, a foam for the room, a big one, very high. It did, it was higher than my own in the house. So, we're like, oh, God, this thing, okay, we all come, we're chilling and, okay, looking at how the things, how this thing will uh, play out. And the next thing, so after that, the next thing my auntie did was for her to go get, like, start preparing for the room, got pillows, everything, got a standing fan. If you know, Nigeria is very hot. It's very, very hot in, in December because it's a matern period. It's hot. So she got a big standing fan. You get, but the full... The foam she got was very, very high, very high, that you don't even need a, a stand for it. It was really high, so we just, she kept it on the floor, under the cap, um, on top of the carpet. So she got a standing fan, and I don't even have a standing fan in my room, you get. And it was only the ceiling fan that I have in my room. And... My auntie was preparing and my cousins were in the house. That is my mom's elder sister's children. Yeah. So two of them, uh, the guy and the girl, they were both in the house. So I never knew that the both of them knew. So getting to on the 23rd of December, my auntie, they all went out and got can water in our house we drink pure water pure water is such a water if you are not from africa or nigeria you will not know what it is it's a water that it's put in such it such it so if you get if you drink that in your house you are kind of in the middle class you get it so if you drink the canned water the water in the plastic you are you, you get what i'm saying so we drink pure water in the house so how will you go and get canned water for visitors when we don't even drink that so <laughs> they bought that they bought more to drink bought all of sort of things in the house 
and I was really fed up. So that day I was trying to call my mom. The number was not going through. I tried from in the morning. I called, I called, I called. The number wasn't going through. And I asked my cousin sister that was that is way, way bigger or elder than me. I asked her, how is it possible that I'm calling my mom and the number is not even going through? She's like, mm, maybe it's network and, you know, stuff like that. And I kept on asking her that she should help me call. She was like, my girl, I bet leave me. Meaning, let me be, leave me alone, you get. So I was like, uh -huh, okay, no problem. And fast forward to in the evening, like around six, because in the house we eat very, very early, so the food could digest. So, fast forward to six, we're all in the room. Me, my auntie children, and the guy, the elder cousin of mine, were in the house in that room that they were preparing for visitor. So we're all on the bed, and the guy asked me that, "What if you see your mom? How will you feel?" I was like, "I will be happy." You get. It. So I didn't even think to that side i didn't even think about that because i was i was hungry already and my auntie my oh, i call her auntie she wasn't even preparing she was she wasn't looking like somebody that, that want to prepare dinner again yeah, i was hungry i went to her like cook now what are you waiting for she's like my friend come on for here i live here if you, you, you don't you know how to cook if you're hungry you want to cook for yourself i was angry hungry and we're all on that bed so i because of the hunger i slept i slept off and there was fun fun was blowing because in our house we don't get to on the generator until eight but this is six and the gen is already on i was like this can't visit eh? they didn't tell us that the visitor was coming that day they didn't tell us, but they were telling us that the visitors, the visitor might come. So we're like, this kind of visitor, me, I don't understand. I don't understand. So I slept off. So when I woke up, she was already in the kitchen preparing food. And I was angry we were watching TV because I was hungry. You get it. So the next thing I saw was that my auntie called and told them to open the gates so they opened the gates my auntie dragged two luggages into the house okay i'm like okay no problem i didn't i was like okay welcome welcome my uncle which is you know my uncle my cousin dragged two luggages a different cousin okay into the house and the the my cousin who was cooking dragged another luggage into the house i was like oh what is happening before i knew i just saw someone that was wearing a blue jean a white t-shirt with a blue bag handbag and a blue um i can remember a blue shoe the person was just walking bam, 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 bam just walked into the house and the person was very, very, very fair. I like, at first I was like, because the person just, if you're coming from a house, you have to get to the kitchen. If you are a family friend, you already know you. You can walk from the kitchen. So if I'm in the city room, I can see you walking. So I was looking at the person and the person was just walking to the house. I didn't even know if the person i didn't know how i jumped up from the chair and i just went and grabbed my mom and we're hugging oh my god i was so happy i i, I was shocked like how come it i i didn't even like wait to see okay is this person and i wasn't expecting but i didn't know how i just literally got up and went to her she looked very very different from my eyes to the pictures i've been seeing she was lighter she was beautiful okay so 
We walked from standing, we fell to the chair, to the couch. From the couch, we fell to the ground, we were hugging. Then after that, I was happy. That's how I met my mom. And me, just that I was hungry, I bet you, I from that day, I wasn't able to eat. I didn't eat like three days. Three days. And my mom was like, please eat, take something. Don't do that. Please eat. Because I was really, really happy. For that Christmas, I wasn't preparing anything too much. I didn't make my hair because I didn't want to. I just want to be in the house. No, I'm not going out. Yeah. So I was... That night, we slept together all in her hands. Oh my God. I was really, really happy. So, so happy. And I was like... And my mom didn't tell... She told my auntie that she was coming, but she didn't tell her the date. So she came all the way from Italy to Lagos, from Lagos to Benin. And it was that my uncle that went to wait for her at one junction like that and brought her, took her to my auntie's shop because you have to pass through my auntie's shop for you got to get to a house. Um, they called her like, where are you? She said, I'm still at the shop. They're like, close up. A taxi will be packed, will be packed at your store. Make sure to get inside as soon as you see it. And she was like, my auntie was like, when she saw it, she was like, hey, Jesus, you've been witch. As in, you're a witch. How, 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 how did you pull all these? Like, that day was really, I can't forget that day. It was a day that some of my dreams and aspiration was fulfilled because at the age of 15 okay 14 i didn't know my mom didn't know who she was and she stayed up till february after my birthday she left february 13th and i was really really sad i cried i wanted to go with her but it wasn't possible I really, I was sad. When she left, I couldn't eat again for 14 days. Actually, my auntie was calculating it for me. I couldn't eat like I used to do. I couldn't, I was always crying. Till the 15th day, my auntie told me that, do you know that you literally cried for 14 days after your mom left? I was like, how did you know that? So guys, if you enjoy the story, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel. This is the story on how, on my for my parts, okay? If you want to see the story of my mom, Pat, as she pulled this up, please leave it in the comment section and I will invite her to tell us her own story. So if you like stories like this, I have so much and so many interesting stories. So if you like the story, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, which is thumbs and up. Subscribe to this channel and turn on post notification bell. And if you are a person like me who didn't grow up with your parents and you didn't know them from right from when they were young, please give us a summary on how you met your parents in the comment section. Okay? And if you want to see how the story on how I met my dad for the first time, also, let me know in the comment section and I will let you know. I know I haven't been saying much about my dad. But if you want to, if you want to know, let me know in the comment section and I will deliver all to you. So, don't forget to give this video all the good stuff and I will see you in my next video. I love you guys. Bye-bye.